tree, but where did, where did the idea actually came from? Well, the idea came from, uh, I was hosting... Your stand-up routine that you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, uh, I was hosting this charity event for a bunch of, uh, Hindu lawyers, and I was, after ten, after the first ten minutes, they're like, can you talk some more? I said, sure. So I just started talking about how my mom was trying to set me up with these Indian people all over the country. Now they're sending me these matrimonial resumes. And people were laughing in a, in a very new way, as if we had all been to the same war together, uh-huh. <laughs> and realized at that point that it was something that a lot of people like me were going through, and afterwards they're coming up to me and they're like, oh, you should do a comedy tour on this, you should write a book, and then just entertaining stories. You know, the Asian community is, is a very private community, um, not just Asian, but a lot of immigrant families come from private, they don't really go to therapy, they don't talk about things, you know, and so Ravi was like, we should do something, and then we were on our family trip together, and Ravi's just talking about this, and I'm just trying not to do another documentary, because I'd just done one, and as I'm filming and just playing with my camera, Ravi, that's how the film started, our home video from that trip is basically the opening scenes of our film, and six years later, we made it. Now, how much of the film was um, from your home, and then how much that you actually had to basically add more on? Well, uh, the film was shot, if you're asking where it was shot, it's um, uh, partially in India, partially in North Carolina, where we're from and our parents live, and partially here in L.A. Well, what I mean is, like, um, when, when did you, like, Obviously, it's based off of some of the home videos, but then after that, then you have to add right. cer- certain more stuff. Is, is there like more to be planned, or do you guys just become spontaneous? Well, with the do- you know, with this film, we we just kept shooting. I mean, that's really we kept shooting till the film was done, and we never really said, "Oh, Meaning let's she go." She kept putting the camera on me. You know, because in my it was real moments. life. You know, I think a lot of it was more editing. Like we would make a draft of the film and go, "What's missing?" and then we would look in the footage for what was missing. But we never shot for what was missing, if that makes sense. I mean, I mean, there there was stuff at the end. I mean, even though this film is a documentary, it's actually like a really broad family comedy. We're calling it a real life romantic comedy. And in order to give it that feel, we put a lot of effort into putting like awesome music in it. We did animation, and the animation process took uh, a couple years. Um, and then the cool little couples interviews, which all happened, you know, after the fact. So there's all these little things we peppered on, and that was the stuff that we probably added on after that. Now, Ravi, obviously you are okay with this, but what about the rest of the family? Were they, like, families and friends, were they all okay with this? First of all, I only became okay with it because I figured out all of a sudden I was doing it, (laughs) and I was committed to this concept once PBS came on board. Gita, you want to tell them how the family felt about being it? Gita chose, she had the luxury of being in the movie without actually having to be on camera, because she's holding the camera the entire time. It turns out my parents are like uh, a gift to cinema. Uh Uh, They're so natural on camera. Well, I think it's because mom and dad didn't really know that we were making, they didn't know what we were doing, you know, they just thought we were playing around. We've always, we both were in film, so we both always play around the camera. So when we show them the film, like five years or so after we finished it, they were just kind of confused. I think they really didn't know, and that's what was great. You know, we were able to film them naturally. But they're the stars of the film. I don't know if you've seen it or not. They are, they, yeah, I mean, everyone, like agents are calling them. They, they're about to be famous, <laughs> and they're so natural at it. It's awesome. Now, the, the one thing that I find, I found this uh, film wonderful is because of the uh, the culture. I mean, I'm coming from an Asian culture myself, and, right. you know, I'm a single guy, almost 40 years old. Right. not saying that you should do a documentary on do me. Do you want to meet mom? Is that what you're saying? You <laughs> right. want to talk to my mom. Right. right. <laughs> but, uh, but, I mean, uh, but one of those things where, um, because of it is culture, isn't there, like, a negative stigma or stereotyping? Aren't, aren't you concerned about, like, the Indian culture being like some of Indian friends being portrayed wrongly somehow? Yeah, we were very concerned about that. That was something that we put a lot of effort into making sure that we, everyone in the film, that we showed them in a positive light, a truthful light. Yeah, and it's also, it was tricky for us because um, with comedy, you're making fun of your culture. So we were constantly kind of just taking that leap of faith of, you know what, let's leave it. It's funny. If someone doesn't laugh, we're going to have to deal with it. And thank God, when we screened in Toronto, Everybody loved it. That was Indian, you know, no complaints. So we were we were relieved. We were nervous about that. Now I just want to basically uh, talk about just the aftermath. Are you still seeing um, your girlfriend, or, or is it? <laughs> uh, 
I would say that all your friends at home should go watch the movie, and then they can shoot me an email <laughs> on the website, meetthepatelsfilm.com, the Patels, meet <laughs> and then I'll answer all these kinds of questions, and I encourage you to do the same. Oh. Maybe I'm going to have to get some dating advice from you or something. Oh, just so you know, that's one of the things we're going to be offering is my mom and dad giving dating advice. And by the way, even if you're not asking for it, they're still going to give it to you because that's the kind of people they are. I know. I have Indian friends who are trying to set me up right now. For some unknown reason, they think I'm too old now or something. Oh, my parents <laughs> My parents can move anything off the lot. You need to yeah. talk to my mom. And, and, and um, just, just to wrap it up with you, when is, is there going to be a documentary about your dating life? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. That's that's no, the sequel. Not. Is uh, that we turn the camera around and I'm holding it, and we watch Gita go at it, right? No. No. So it's still in development. <laughs> still early, working out the kinks. Okay. And so. just, just to wrap it up, uh, just one last question: Is there any future projects that you guys could actually talk? about? Yeah, uh, Gita is working on a really cool film called Mouse. Um, I just think it's easier than having to talk about yourself, um, and it's like an action film about do, I'm, I'm yeah done. you're not good yeah um, I'm just doing my first uh, narrative film and it's a it is an action kind of social justice film and it's by the producer of the matrix so I'm definitely I'm really excited and Ravi has a, a, a granola bar company called this bar saves lives and for every bar you buy you're feeding a, a child dying of malnutrition in Africa and they're, they're all over the world at this point yep. um, so and he also has um, film and TV projects because he's an actor as well an actor just did an episode of Children's Hospital a couple yeah. days ago yeah yeah and, we both and then we're doing to, stuff we'd together we'd love to yeah. work together again we've you know we now that we fought with each other and almost killed each other and come out the other side I think we're just we'd love to work ready together ready to do more again. of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey, thanks. Um, thanks Thank for the so email. Um, thanks for the uh, doing the doing the film in this interview. And I'll maybe I'll email your parents for uh, dating advice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot.